What is going on guys at Bush? I'm like back on this fine Tuesday, not even noon, just a couple minutes ago. It was reported that Portland is finalizing a trade to acquire Josh Hart, Nikhil Alexander Walker, Thomas Sadaransky, and draft compensation for CJ McCollum. This is on Shams. Wojo tweeted out. Everyone and their mothers tweeting it out. Absolutely insane stuff going on here. No one would have thought that this was gonna go down, but I guess the Knicks lost again on another trade. I'm looking at you, Kyle. Your team is hopeless. So this is actually crazy stuff that I was not expecting to be reading today. Is Damian Lillard going to stay in Portland past this season? Now, I'm a Philly fan. I'm telling Dame it's all ears. Like, come on over. Like. We're waiting for you. This man just got absolutely backstabbed by his organization. They just took his second-hand man, which I said eventually that they were going to trade, but they traded him for almost, like, a core, just young players. Like, Nikhil's solid. Josh Hort's solid. Thomas Adaransky, eh. Draft compensation is never a great sign. Is you know, like it's just money. Like it's literally just money. And then not even I don't even know how many days earlier, Robert Covington and Norman Powell was traded from the Trailblazers for what was it, Eric Bledsoe and some others. Norman Powell was traded with Robert Covington for Eric Bledsoe, Justice Justice Winslow, Kenya Keon Johnson. And two second round picks. So right now, the Portland Trailblazers team is Dame, Eric Bledsoe, Justice Winslow, Keon Johnson, Nikhil Alexander Walker, Nurkic, Josh Hart, uh, Thomas Adaransky. I'm reading this team out to you. This is not a good team. Damian Lillard had the carry already. But now you're asking even more from him, from an aging veteran, a guy that's playoff hopes are absolutely just inches away from dying. If Dame, I understand your loyalty, Dame, but we're talking about your whole, your management has traded away everybody for expiring vets, uh, young players. That it's just, this is not a playoff team. You're in the Western Conference. You are not going to compete with anyone in the West with the team that you have currently. There is just no way. Yes, I do love that duo that they had, but it had to change. But was this the trade? CJ got significantly undercut for what Norman Powell and Robert Covington went for. Like Norman Powell was really good, or is really good. He's a 3 and D player, and he gets straight buckets. Now, you're going to tell me that that's the trade that that's going to happen? That's the trade that's happening? This is, this is what, it, what you trade for? That's, I don't know. To me, yeah, Dame, trending in the NBA for good reasons right now. Like, this is the three, I mean... Whenever Zion wants to play. But, I mean, this isn't a bad team. They have some good players. Brandon Ingram's an absolute dog. DJ, once his health is finally back up, I know he had the, clump, the collapsed lung and everything. Once it's back up, he will be very good. Zion, obviously, he's a star in the making. How long that's going to last with the weight, with the health issues, we'll see. But it's, it looks like a good team, and it, it just feels like they robbed the Trailblazers. Yeah, he gets paid like $31 million. Like, I think that and then in the following year, he gets paid more. 33 and then 35. So, 
And I think that's the only reason that stopped some people from getting him. Why the Knicks didn't go after him? Who is to me? If they could have got, if they got CJ, that would have definitely helped. In my opinion, CJ is still a good player. Because if you go to CJ stats, if he came back and played like he did last season, he's averaging twenty four and four and a half. His three point shooting is definitely lower than it what normally is. I would say. I think that. Last year he shot better. Field goals a little low. Free throws actually pretty low for some of that. Like normally as good as a shooter as he is. I mean Yeah, like this year before, like he was ridiculous. That injury took him out. Like if this was the CJ from last season, he would have not been traded for what he got traded. Like this is actually wild that this happened. But it's time to make some moves. Like, this team is not bad. This is not a bad team. Zion, Brandon Ingram, CJ, Jonas Valanciunas, Devontae Graham, Herb, man, Herb Jones, Jackson Haynes, and Nikhil Alexander Walk. So you can scratch that. He's, you got traded. But not a bad team. New Orleans, like, next year, I'm not going to say they'll be a contender, but if Zion comes back and plays the way he did last season, and they have Brandon Ingram play the way he did. And if CJ can get some to the form they had last season, they got a solid team with them. But, yeah, this trade is definitely very interesting. And Damian Lillard, you listen to me, all right? Get the hell out of Portland. I don't know. I understand you want to be loyal, but get the hell out of Portland. They are ruining you, and you're championship aspirations and everything that you want is going down the drain if you stay in portland you're gonna be ruined buddy so don't do it don't think about it go somewhere i don't even care if you're going to philly just go somewhere dude you're ruining your career you're my favorite point you're my favorite point guard in the league and now you're not even playing your team's absolutely atrociously bad do not go back to this team absolutely do not go back to the portland trailblazers Please, you did everything you could. It's time to hang it up at Portland. Go somewhere else, dog. Get on the phone. Daryl Moore wants to trade for you. Let him trade for you. Get Ben Simmons in Portland. I'm here. Do your thing. Please, just get out of Portland. For the love of God, please.